let's meet a good looking couple name Mr. and Mrs. Dave and Sheenam Sharma. This meeting will be featured in a lovely segment called People's Pride, which is proudly presented here on Salam India by Dr. Satish Misra. Dr. Misra is also seen on facets of religions in India. Namaskar. Welcome to People's Pride segment of Salam India. We are very fortunate and proud to have two outstanding uh, people here on today's show, Mr. Dev Sharma on my left and Mrs. Srinam Sharma, lovely wife of Mr. Dev Sharma uh, on my right. So uh, we welcome you both to our show and first I want you to tell our audience uh, what motivated you to become IT entrepreneur and get into business. Thank you, Dr. Mishra, to uh, bring us here. Uh, I got a uh, uh, opportunity to have a technical education and the main motivation I got from my family, my my grandfather, my father, all are in business. So we, I belong to a yes, business they are family. They same business? Uh, they were in uh, different engineering businesses. My f uh, grandfather and father was a mechanical engineering and yeah. uh, uh, when I uh, finished my bachelor degree in accounting and finance, uh, the IT was the new thing. So I started uh, taking education and uh, uh -huh. complete my master's in uh, IT. From and where? Uh, from Guru Jambeshwar University, His Hisar, Haryana, India. Uh -huh. And uh, after that, I started my career in IT uh, TCS, uh, India's uh, uh, top most consulting company. And uh, then I migrated to US and uh, now serving uh, in, uh, in a government and uh, that is section. great. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself first. Yeah, I belong to uh, Punjab and uh, I did my graduation from Guru Nanak Dev University. And after that, I did my master's uh, from Sikkim Manipal University and um, then I got a chance to serve IT sector. And after that, uh, I got a chance as I'm here today to serve this country yeah. and working in the same sector. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's wonderful. And le tell us a little bit about uh, how did you meet and what happened? So you can start. Um, I was in an IT business uh, and uh, uh, Sheenam was the best candidate we got actually in our company. And uh, we worked uh, for a long time, actually seven years together. And uh, finally, we took a decision, uh, each other, to uh, start our life together. Was this love at first sight or it developed? No, no, it was nothing like love at first sight, actually. Um, so we were walking together and uh, at a certain point, we realized like uh, we understand each other very well. And uh, uh, that is the reason, actually, we took this decision <laughs> and uh, it was nothing like... Uh, yeah. We can say yeah. love at first sight. <laughs> yeah. So you evaluated him from all angles. Yeah. I and evaluated you did the same thing, case. right? Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, actually it got uh, evaluated. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody did that. Right, right. Uh, was there any f family input into that, influence? Yeah, uh, our families actually knew each other and uh, then we started working together as he started his business and he started working with me. and. Uh, Slowly, steadily, we got a chance at, it was like seven year times is pretty much long time. Yeah. And uh, to understand each other, to work with each other. So it, it happened. <laughs> yeah, in this regard, we are talking about it. Uh, these days, internet dating is becoming very popular. Mm -hmm. What's your opinion about that? Uh, internet dating is uh, getting very popular. Um, but somewhere we should always remember like internet is a virtual world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, keeping yourself uh, on that side, but on the other hand, we have to always take care about the real world. Like, we should not only rely always on the internet world, world for dating, we should know that person personally also, because mm -hmm. it's very important when you have to live your whole life with someone. Uh, you should understand that personal, uh, person personally instead of just on the internet or so, like but that. Is there a better word like an internet introduction? Getting an introduction of someone on internet is a very uh, is a very good thing, but uh, mm. 
I, I really don't prefer to rely 100% and just at one point you came to know like so this is not the real person <laughs> you were dating yeah, with. <laughs> yeah. So you, you heard her. It's very important to have a face-to-face, in-person contact to get, uh, to make a decision what, which involves whole life, lifelong decisions, right? Mm-hmm. Is that yeah. uh, mm-hmm. correct? Now, I, I see that the uh, world is getting more and more involved in nets, like social networking, emails, web-based information, even automated car. So, you also, uh, both of you, helped us in recent uh, event for welcoming PM Modi to Washington, D.C. area, mm-hmm. and you uh, made beautiful banners, artistic, you showed artistic, artistic capability to get ahead in uh, making banner, and you uh, did a lot of other design element, and um, I thank you both for this. Thank you. Thank you and uh, I want to understand, I have my, our audience want to know whether web-based interaction and uh, what is happening to humans such as, such as face-to-face interaction? Actually, both interactions are important. Uh, mm-hmm. Web-based interaction is definitely to, uh, it's a fast. We have our smartphones, a tablet, we have apps, uh, FaceTime, we can uh, bring uh, information very quickly, fast, instant information mm-hmm. on the internet with the help of social media uh, and a website. This is uh, definitely a great opportunity, and uh, uh, but in-person uh, involvement is also very important. Uh, as uh, Shinam was uh, talking about the in-person uh, meetings, uh, is uh, definitely impo- important even for the social network. Uh, if we have a social media, uh, internet-based social media, but still we 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 have a community center, so we have to have a get together to know about the. Uh, your crowd together and your team better way when you're meeting in person. So you heard him. It's still in person interaction is very important to understand and that applies also to the meeting. We can do web based meeting, we can do teleconference meeting, but I have seen chaos in teleconference meetings. If there are, especially if there are 30 people, 25 people, you cannot navigate properly through teleconference meeting. But video conferencing, is that an avail- uh, option available or usable? Uh, video conferencing is uh, very helpful. The whole world is uh, doing every uh, s- uh, person have a smartphone. Everybody is using a FaceTime and uh, different uh, apps to have uh, video conferencing uh, professionally and with the family, friends. It is very important. Personally, if uh, you talking about my experience, uh, I have a great experience with the video conference and so web meetings to have with my clients yeah. so it is, is it is a great opportunity to save m- many resources and yeah. go fast so but you are talking about business type video conferencing where one person speaks and everybody listens right uh, not uh, really, but uh, we, video conference is something like when you can have a m- virtual meeting, a web-based meeting, everybody can participate. Uh, yeah. It's uh, quite similar to the in-person meetings too. Yeah, but uh, yeah, there you can, you can see the person, he can raise a finger, he can say that I, I want attention, but a teleconference meeting, they could they be better at night? Uh, there, there are definitely, uh, there should be a, you know, a t- uh, better rules to uh, stay in the team and the conference. So everybody should uh, uh, respect uh, others uh, and yeah. uh, everybody should have some rules to uh, have so, the So conference. this is wave of the future. Right. We have to get you to these high tech uh, tools to interact with people even you know, looking at face to face and things like that. And Sinam, you tell us a little bit about this is what we are going, we are involved in at this time, but there is still old school of thought mm-hmm. who don't want to get involved with these technical tools to understand the technology today. Is there any, anything we can do for them? Yeah, um, actually we have uh, met many people like that who who are still not involved in using the technology but uh, they want to get into it but they think like they don't know it and somebody is not 
uh, telling them how to do it so actually me and they we were just planning to uh, to schedule to make something uh, like uh, do kind of a seminar uh, where we can have some old people and we can tell them like how to use these uh, simple social media things yeah we would have a definitely a uh, plan short in the in the near future to conduct a seminar for seniors to educate them on the social media and internet how to use that in that way they can interact with their family and kids uh, uh, very well mm -hmm. and uh, it will be a definitely a better opportunity so, so we, we there is a need you recognize that there is a need to educate people and uh, there is a cost involved with everything like uh, you know you have to have uh, you know laptops you have to have a smartphone you have to have uh, uh, you know uh, other things uh, and subscription uh, you are right uh, but uh, if you go to meet your kids in california they are uh, studying on other states uh, if you fly then it's uh, it's uh, also involve a cost too and uh, definitely time a lot of time so if you are doing like using a technology and spending a couple of hundred dollars uh, to have a nice laptop ipad or smartphone and uh, you can have a face time uh, every day with your kids and it it like uh, we are living here our f greater families in india we are having a video conferencing every day and they are feeling like they meeting us every day so seniors out there, you are listening to him. It's very important to keep in touch, to keep connected with the people you really care for, you love, where, where they are in India or where they are in California or in New York. So it's very important to have interaction, to uh, communicate and let them feel your presence. Yeah, it's a global village and yeah. distance is not a, 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 a big thing now. Yeah. 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 Uh, you agree with that? Yeah, I do agree with this yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. What about the misuse of this uh, technology? Like, you know, I, I have seen so many things that they are being misused and young girls are being lured into doing something that they should not be doing. So what is happening there? Yeah, teenagers, uh, we, we should have some ethics to give them a smartphone and internet access. And uh, especially I have some suggestions that I'm going to present in the seminar. Like uh, say when you are installing computer at home, instead of giving a laptop, it should be a desktop computer, and the screen should be toward the f uh, to to the family room, not uh, to, uh, his, the the kid kid's face should be toward the wall, and uh, monitors yeah. should be toward the. So those are logistic yeah. involved. and uh, there are some smart apps that you can install on your smartphones of your yeah. kid, and you can track where they are and what and they are uh, doing. Yeah, most important, they have to have proper education. Exactly, but yes, we, uh, seniors, uh, parents, uh, everybody have to... Even uh, senior citizens are subject to harassment and uh, money laundering and things like that. Senior citizens get uh, these kind of messages or whatever. So we have to educate the community, both young and... So I will ask you one question to both of you. Mm -hmm. If you have to select one single item for benefit to... Uh, uh, for our audience, uh, where you, uh, which has made you a better person? What will that be for you? Uh, actually, it's not a single thing. It'll definitely, family, your education, teachers, your family, friends, and uh, environment that in in which you brought up is uh, uh, is uh, uh, important to have. And uh, education and knowledge is a big thing, definitely, that make you a better person. And uh, knowledge you can grab wherever you it, it is possible to grab. Yeah. Yep. Shinam, your yeah. turn. For me, like it's uh, education and family values actually, uh, which really make you a strong person and uh, give you uh, more a way to uh, avail more opportunities in life. Yeah, family values is a very wide term. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Within family values, what is most important? Uh, for me, in my family values, uh, like uh, the respecting the elders and uh, loving the kids, making good relationship with everyone is a very important thing. That, which, that, that's good. Thank me. you very much. So you heard them. Now, last, last message to our second generation. 
Uh, second generation is uh, uh, very lucky born on the land of uh, opportunity and they should take up you know maximum benefit of it and they should respect first their the first generation came down and their struggle uh, which is very important they should understand how they are actually struggle and uh, meet this point and they have a better opportunity to keep it up thank you uh, you heard them that family values love care and above all education all those and uh, and your uh, uh, sanskar you have to focus on that thank you very much both of you thank you dr for having thank us you. thank you and uh, namaskar to everybody